Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, I need to put my hands up. I've made a mistake and I need to share it with you. Literally a couple of days ago, we posted, well, I posted a video uh, about some top tips for iNav in 2020, and one of them was a brand new setting. Uh, let me just get this right. It was a setting called N uh, Nav FW Control Smoothness. Now, what I discovered this morning, and hence the reason for this video, is that I actually suggested a value of seven. However, real life, more mixed environment, uh, I'll put it this way, a flight this morning with a heavy crosswind kind of highlighted exact, so this setting does exactly what it should do. However, that may not be, the, the level of seven, which I suggested, uh, may definitely not be desirable for most of you. So. What actually happened, so this morning I went out for a flight and down at ground level there was literally no wind at all. But at 100 metres up there was it's a 20 mile an hour wind quite consistently up to, to a greater height as well. Now that may not sound surprising to you and should really be nothing for INAV at all, which in normal circumstances it would have not been. Uh, however, what the NAV fixed wing control smoothness does, and if you read it on here, is that this results in a less abrupt and jerky movements when engaged in return to home, for example, the turn applied is much smoother and resembles more of a human pilot command with a stick. And that's what it does very, very well. So in a navigation mode, so waypoints or 3D cruise, for example, or nav uh, hold, is that it will smooth the, not necessarily the turn down, it just smooths down the the way the, the board reacts or way the way INAV reacts. So does that setting do exactly what it says on the tin? No, I've actually read what it's supposed to do. Uh, yes, it absolutely does what it does. It just dumbs down the controls. However, that is where the negative comes from, is that when I flew it before with version seven, uh, the version 2.5.1, it was a very calm day and the model reacted, uh, so the drift was very tight in the sky, just like it on a previous version when I didn't have this set in set. And I've been back and looked at the DVR footage and actually it was doing what it was doing today with a much higher setting, but less pronounced because there was much less wind. And what the issue is, is that if that value is too high, for example, seven, which I suggested previously, is that the mod model becomes very wallowy in the sky, which is great for say hitting a waypoint and then the model is much more calmer going around. However, in a 3D cruise mode where you have, you just want the model to fly in a straight line for X distance, uh, is that the model just gets really wallowy. It, 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 so instead of before, when we didn't have this setting, or uh, is that it, the model would, it just flew in a nice little tight line. Even if we had a crosswind, it would, there, it would there be fighting the winds, you know, and coping with it really well. However, with that uh, control smoothness, that value being too high, what I've discovered this morning, hence this video, is that that value was just too high, uh, especially in a, in, a, in a more windy environment, and the model just weighed, and I, I mean, it weighs like 200 meters that way, comes back 200 meters that way. Uh, and that's obviously a combination of factors, higher wind than what I tested with before, that value being far too high, uh, and of course the very light model in the sky too. So it was a culmination of things which I discovered this morning, hence this video. So if you are going to, to uh, use that value, then I would suggest a much lower value. Personally, I am now gonna go with a level two, uh, and, and maybe to a level three, and, and what I'm trying to say to you is, hands up, level seven, because you can do a value from zero to seven, uh, a zero presumably is off, so like it was back in 2.4, for example, uh, which may be fine, okay? But actually, uh, maybe a level two, maybe three, and that's what I'm gonna go with, and that's probably what I'm gonna end up with, and I've got some more flights planned for later on today, uh, and I will go out and test them. So I will update the video description later underneath, but don't be surprised if A, that I've turned it off by setting it to zero, uh, or I've just left it on a value of two or three. I strongly suspect that's what the case is gonna be. So 
with, with all that said now, and we've got that out, uh, out in the open, is that that's obviously not an issue with iNav. It works exactly as expected. That setting is great. You just don't want it too high because it does make the model very wallowy. Uh, again, remember my circumstances were quite a strong crosswind, using 3D cruise because this setting only applies navigation modes. Uh, and it was a light model in windy conditions. Okay, whereas before I was used to a very tight model, it's that if it was getting blown off, it would correct itself very quickly. I, I just didn't want it to, it was literally going all over the shop. Okay, now with all, uh, my point being there is that with all that said, what I was really looking forward to is that if we were on a waypoint mission, and I will get that video out to you as soon as I can, uh, is that what I was personally hoping for is that it would tone down the turns in a waypoint mission. So what I mean by that is that we saw an OSD clip in the previous video, which was that if you've got a, a next waypoint, which is over at like 90 degrees, the model just literally goes bang, like a possessed squirrel on crack after his next nut. And Sam, I hope that bit be used to you, uh, which is le less than desirable. And I can imagine with a, a model Maybe like the Sonic model binary, which I've just had here turn up. If, if we were that aggressive on the sticks, potentially you could invoke a tip stall uh, on, the, uh, on the model, especially if you've got a combination of winds, uh, wind directions as well and the type of model. So what I was looking for, and it's the feature request which I've been putting this morning, uh, is that we, what we're looking for is to round the turns for waypoints in a fixed, in a fixed wing. Um, so... The, the original setting, which we spoke about, nav control smoothness, works as desired. What we're actually looking for, and I think that, and, and now this has been able for, for me to define this and be able to say it properly, which is that what we're looking for is some rounding, okay? So in, in with a multi-rotor, for it to bank oh, gee, your 90 degrees uh, or even 180 degrees and go back on itself, not a problem. It's a multi-rotor. It's got four props minimum, okay? Uh, it can go back on itself. However, in a fixed wing, for that model to you don't do don't do 180 degree return turns in a waypoint mode. All right, so what I'm basically saying, put another couple of rounds that turning off because if it's too harsh and you need to come like go 180 degree turns, put like two waypoints on there so it goes there and then there and then comes back because if it's too harsh, the model really does go right over on its side uh, quite harshly. And again, that's as I've just uh, was found out previously, it's a light model with stronger wind conditions and it's amplifying this effect. So this morning I've been put in a feature request uh, for some rounding on the waypoints, okay? So not only to, so there is a setting which you can increase the radius of a waypoint, which is ideal for a fixed wing. So you need plenty of slop, like 40 meters. With it, if it's within 40 meters and you're 100 meters in the sky, that's all right, isn't it? For the height wise. Um, and that works out really well. But what we're really looking for is like a turn radius. So when we hit the waypoint is that we don't just go bang straight after the next waypoint. What we're looking for is for it to be a smooth down a bit. So we have some form of radius. So it calms those turns down. So yeah, I came up with the idea of having some form of radius. Um, all we're just trying to do is just calm down the abrupt changes on, uh, in a fixed wing model uh, when it comes to a waypoint mission. And crucially, for us to have a tight model uh, within uh, a 3D cruise mode or another, other navigation modes because having that smoothness too high, like I said, creates a very, very wallowy model. That's why I'm gonna be reducing mine down to two or three and we'll test that out. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up down about two or three. Uh, uh, which is nice because you, you the, the the idea of that setting. If we go back to the previous um, to the previous page, and I'll put links to these in the video description, was really just to make it more like what the human would do to to calm things down. We wouldn't do sharp movements, and I like the logic behind that setting. I think it's a very good setting. However, having that too high with specific, in specific instances and specific models, so like with the drift, like I mentioned, the drift. If it's very light, you got crosswind not a good combination. If you've got something like a Sodic model binary or another model which has uh, a known issue with tip stalling, for example, too much of a sharp return um, uh, uh, or aggressive behavior in the sky may have very undesirable effects. And that's why I, I just needed to get this video out just to share with you. So let's say like hands up, made a bit of a screw up. Uh, and yeah, that, that's, that, just be wary of that setting. 
go for instead of where I said seven before, change it down to like two or three, it, it will be less pronounced, okay? So there you go. If you've had any, or well, you have any questions, comments on this, uh, or any feedback or any ideas uh, when it comes to being able, well, specifically how to manage it, uh, or how INAV could perhaps manage the rounding or the, the curving of, uh, the, of the model turn uh, for the next waypoint, do put, I'm gonna put a link to this uh, and, and add your own comments to this. Uh, but and but like I said, this, the, the previous session definitely does work as described. It definitely does do what it should do. However, the setting for it, the value which I suggested previously was incorrect. Do not use seven. Go for a much much lower number. Uh, like I said, I'm going to personally be going with two or three, which I think which would be quite nice just to take the edge off. Uh, the, again, we're dealing with fixed wings, so a little bit of sloppiness is okay. In fact. That's why that setting exists, is because in some instances, it's quite desirable, because we don't want it to be skitty in the sky. However, having it too high reduce, means that we end up with a very wallowy experience, and instead of what should be following a fake line in the sky, a direction which we're heading towards, instead, it's like going over there, and then going over there, and then over there. <laughs> you know what you mean, you know what I mean. So with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode. Look out for the setting. Hopefully the, the guys over at iNav will like that setting or like that idea. Uh, and for your model, remember, setting two or three would be a fantastic start uh, and see how it goes for you and your specific instances. So with that said, for myself, Matt, as always, cheerios!